Hello, welcome to another video on the channel. It's Ghost Revex, aka Ghost. In this video, we're going to talk about corner shooting, basically attacking before the enemy robot actually reaches or steps out where you can see them. In this battle, it's going to be a lot of examples of being able to fire before the enemy robot moves into, I guess, line of sight where you can actually see them. And it may feel like you're wasting your weapons. But the thing about it is it allows you to do damage to the robot, but it also allows you to move away to limit the amount of damage they can do to you. OK, so currently on the first couple of times, I'm going to move in and just go attack. My goal really is to go after this shock train. The robot does a tremendous amount of damage and there's no way to really block it. OK, even if you have a lance, I notice if the lance gets hit, even if you hit a lance in the front with the shield, it still will go from the lance to the next bot. So the lance may not take any damage, but any bot that's close to that lance will still take damage. So it's a really bad mechanic, the way that body, that weapon is set up. And it's being promoted. I noticed this week you've seen it with, I think it's like basically two for a hundred bucks. So they're basically promoting that that weapon. So you'll see it a lot. People are gonna be buying that that weapon. I personally don't use it. It's, it's to me, it's, is a um, it basically break tears down the gameplay okay you don't have to really see who you're firing at you just need to hit one person okay that's it hit one robot and you get everybody so right now my goal is to focus on getting that robot because it's going to do the most damage they could have another one you know that's the thing when you're when you're attacking you don't know if you're taking them out and that's going to be it so once we get them out the way then we'll start working on the actual goal of this video which is to fire from an angle as you can see we're still holding the beacons for the most part you know it's kind of a back and forth effort so nobody's really moving so here we go we finally get that one out the way hopefully we don't run into another one right but like i say with the sale going on you might see multiple so now we're going to work on firing at the corner so if you're new you you know you may not realize this but you want to fire at the corner if you see the enemy coming so here we go we're going to unload at the corner okay and just keep firing at the corner your goal is to do that the person can or the robot continues to move outwards towards you or out into the open but as they're moving out in the open you're already firing so they're going to be taking a majority of your damage but as you can see i can move back now it's more pronounced with the dash because you can dash right but even if you had like a griffin or any regular bot as you're moving back you can actually avoid see the leo to my left the leo's taking a lot of damage but they're moving away but that's some they might have been able to avoid if they were firing at a side so you can see the leo taking a position here i am taking position as well at an angle uh my shields protect me from a lot of that splash and now i see this carnage is to my right side so now we got to watch them we do need to keep the beacon now the big thing i want you to notice is that the bar at the top is not really moving too much and so that's a good thing for you even if you see yourself down we're down by one beacon uh we're actually holding pretty good more than likely we're either taking out their bots uh enough or they're not able to move forward and we're not moving forward so it's kind of a stalemate and that can work to your advantage depending on how you play it so currently i'm just going to kind of keep watching that corner I'm not about to jump in here. There's three robots in there. I don't know what they all have. I really have no clue. So all I'm really doing is kind of playing maintenance, right? I'm just firing at that angle, firing at that corner or firing at the opening, uh, waiting on one robot to try and push out. So here we go. This is the first one. See how much they try and get out. And my goal is just to stay here and, and not move forward. Make them make the move first. OK, if I allow them to go first, then I get to choose what I want to do. If I jump out first, then I have to deal with whatever they decide to do, which I may not have a response to it. So right now we're just firing. I don't know if this robot has energy. I don't know if that robot has splash. There's another one. Now they make a rush. Now we go ahead and move out a little bit. And now we're going to try and move back. Okay, that bot had energy. Therefore, I did not want to take damage. I believe this is my last robot. So I'm really playing it safe. And we get them out of there. Okay, they almost took the beacon. As you can see, the bar is still not moving much, okay? So here we go. We move out, and we go ahead and take them out. But we want to be strategic about what we're doing. A, this is my last robot. B, I want to try and continue to plug this hole, okay? As you can see, the bar at the top is not moving. So 
Uh, and as you notice, I'm only firing one side, one weapon, and that way I have all the other, I have the other two ready to go. Okay, if you can fire one weapon at a time, that definitely is going to help at times. Uh, the bot behind me with the vortex and the aphids is a good example. Especially trying to get through an energy shield, you'll fire them like one, two, three, four, and usually the second or third one will get through. I will say, if you don't realize, the vortex, you need to look at the amount of damage the vortex does. It basically uh, rivals the treb. Okay, so that's a lot of damage you can put on somebody without them realizing. So if you see somebody with a vortex, you need to be careful because it can do the same amount of damage as trip. Now, you won't get the full amount of damage, right, unless you're standing still, but it does a tremendous amount of damage. So we're just corner. Remember I told you corner. So this time I go ahead and move in, and you'll notice we're going to take a nice amount of damage. Not too much, but I do take a good amount of damage. Uh, the Redeemer, then I have a Thunder, just a bad, bad deal to have to get close to. And then we get back and we're looking. As you can see, our team is still holding down. Uh, the bar is going, but it's not bad, okay? It's, it looks worse than what it is. Remember, if, the, if you can kind of just maintain, you can see the one beacon is just holding. It's not switched over. And I'm trying to watch. I saw there was a Fury with Zeus on it, so I don't want to stay right here too much. In case they turn now see this robot moving towards our beacon and now we need to basically engage them now we we have the lead on the beacons at this point but not on the bar and my goal is just to do as much damage to this bot as possible now they're in range i'm going to try and do one can at a time if you don't know what a can is i call it an orkins trash can so when i say the can i'm talking about one of the orkins i still have my other two ready to go now we unload those two Okay, my teammate has moved up to help, and we actually stopped that threat. And now we're going to move up, okay? Now it looks like we're going to take another beacon. And as you can see, they probably took a lot of damage trying to come through that center at the beginning of the match. So sometimes when you're in a battle and you see one team trying to push through one specific part of the map and they don't make it, uh, it can actually, you can say it could actually hurt them later on in the match because they may have lost a lot of robots. And we actually have one person. They're still in the game, I think, but they dropped several bots. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Now we're going to do the corner again. I don't want to stay out in the open. Remember, I can't block energy, okay? So that's the biggest thing about running any bot. This is just like the carnage to me at times. I can't take damage from an energy weapon. It is a medium bot. It's not a, it's not a heavy. So you have to be real uh, picky. <laughs> you got to be picky on what you do, okay? I know some people get out and just like, I'm going to put so much damage on you, I'm going to take you out. But you got to look at how much are you trading off? Are you trading off more than you're willing to take? And that's the goal. So here we are sliding around the backside, trying to get within that 300. I just start unloading early, move in. And before they can turn around, I'm just stay stay back behind this, this little hill here. And that's it, man. So I hope that helps you in your battles. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, slap that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Bell notification so don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.